Welcome to another video from Gradelink Websites. In this video, we'll show you the exact steps to take to delegate access to another person or the Gradelink website team from your Namecheap account. This process is also similar for Enom, which is a similar, actually affiliated, domain registrar. The first step is going to be to go to Namecheap.com and click on sign in. Once you get to the sign in page or use the sign in module in the upper left hand side of the page, enter your username and password and click sign in and continue. You may be prompted for a 2FA code, in which case you will access your two factor authentication device and type in the 2FA code. Click submit. And from here, you'll be directed to your list of domains on your domain dashboard. If we go to the domain list, we can then select the domain which we want to grant delegate access to. So, for example, if we want to select this Great Link Lunch domain, we can click on Manage. Again, that's under the domain list. Search for the domain in the search bar. And to the right of the domain you wish to manage, click on Manage. Click on the Sharing and Transfer tab. And you can add a new owner, which is full, complete access. And you'll relinquish ownership of the domain. And you can also add a new manager. If you're adding a delegate, it's best to just say new manager and you'll put in the username, the Namecheap username or email address. If you're wanting to add Gradelink to have manager access to your domain, simply add, add the name Gradelink, which is our Namecheap username and click add. From there, we can, as an example, we'll go ahead and put in an email address and click add. And you'll then be prompted to put the manager access. You can give some specific permissions or full access. For Gradelink, we typically request full access. Uh, but if you want to grant other or specific permissions, you can go ahead and view all of these. The bare minimum that we need is manage private name servers, uh, renew, manage auto renewal. We may want access to that and dynamic DNS. Typically we want access to mostly the DNS options. We don't need to be able to transfer your domain. So if you don't want to have, give us that access, you can leave that unchecked. Uh, the services, typically we won't need any of that as well. Then you'll be prompted to enter your domain password and click on confirm. And you'll be all set to go. An invitation email will be sent to the Gradelink website team. We'll accept it and we'll have access to your domain on namecheap.com. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and please send any questions to Gradelink websites team.